I don't care what video editor you use for the most part, DaVinci, Premiere Pro, whatever. There are some people that don't realize that you can stack effects on top of each other. They always try and use one and spend all their time tweaking it. Here, let me go grab a grease screen and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this is an absolute terrible setup. I have shadows on the back of the green screen, the green screens right next to me, behind me, which you shouldn't do. I have lights over here that are just hitting it and it's hot and everything else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to at least save myself some trouble. Normally I would set this all up and pull off the back wall and make sure I didn't have hot spots and everything else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just set this up for a minute. Without all the BS, I'm just going to pull this mic out and I'm just going to blah, 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 blah for you without the mic like this. Let's go over to the editor and I'll show you what I mean about stacking effects and the mistakes some people make. Now, I'm going to forewarn you before I do this. This is not a green screen tutorial, nor is it the perfect way to pull a key. I'm showing you that you can stack effects. It doesn't matter whether it's keying, doesn't matter whether it's audio, doesn't matter whether it's lightning bolts. You can stack and add these things up and not just try and hack something in with just one effect, no matter what editor you use. I would never do this. I would set up lights. I would pull the screen back further. I would light it properly, but this will give you an idea. And again, it's not a green screen tutorial. Okay, good. So first thing I would do with this is I would add a mask. I would get all this green junk out of here. Let's get it out of here. Put a point here and here and probably one here and up here and up here and down here and down here and down here and down here, and maybe down here and down there. Good. Anything that is black is going to show through. Anything that's not is not. So one of the first things I do, I always do this just because I do, is I want to see what's behind here and what's showing up. The best way I know to do that is I go in and I create a color mat. However you do that, you do that. And strangely enough, you may be thinking, hey, that's like a pinky magenta. Well, that's because it's the opposite of green and it will really show up all the imperfections. You don't need to get crazy about this. Okay, we move onward. I go to the effects, which is the usual method, depending if you're in Adobe after effects and you're adding key light which does gonna do much better job or whatever program you're in there's gonna be some keyer in here under here we have keying and we have ultra key now i can go in with ultra key and add that to my footage and then i can come over here and i can click things and go i want that uh not so hot see that showing through that black area that means it's not a great key let's try again uh how about here uh not so good let's try down here boop that's a about as good as I'm gonna get. If you change at least my editor to an alpha channel, you'll see, uh-oh, that's a problem. And I can mess with all this stuff and the mat generation and the cleanup and the spill suppression and the blah, 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 blah. Let me show you this. Let's turn that off. Bink. We know we have some problem areas over in here, over in here, over in here, right? Well, let's turn this off. Grab another keying effect. Let's go grab color key and add it. Boop. Come over here. We have color key. Now we're just going to grab this thing. We're just going to say, uh, let's take this out. Bink. Well, that's not very much. See this color tolerance? Do, 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 do. You got to be careful because you can really oh, overcook it. Let's uh, see how much we can pull away without giving myself too bad of a haircut. You notice I still have hair follicles and stuff up there, right? That's not bad. I mean, I wouldn't push this because now I'm chopping stuff off and green's showing through, etc. It's actually not bad. But you can see I'm losing the chair over here if I go too far. Yeah, I wouldn't push this over maybe, let's be nice and say 25. Yeah, that's cool. So let's turn on our ultra key again. And let's go back to what we would normally see. That's kind of okay. It's still kind of dirty. Well, that's cool. Let's change this to aggressive. Boom. That's better. But I still got some stuff. Turn it off. I still got stuff down here. Okay. Let's copy this and let's paste in stacking another color key. What do we care? Let's go grab here and let's grab this dude. Bink. Hey, we just pulled more. Look at that. And I'm keeping the hair follicles in. What happens if I turn ultra key back on? Boop. Hey, that's not bad. There's still a little bit more goo down there. These have an order, so you can also do the color key, color key, and then the ultra key, and sometimes that works. Boop. Oh, look at that. That just cleaned it up significantly. Now when I scroll through here, that looks really darn good for a quick key, and I didn't have to mess with all the controls and the BS and ultra key. Now I couldn't go in ultra key or key light or whatever you're using and I can mess with the pedestal and I can mess with the transparency and go oh my gosh that's not what I wanted and go the other way and bring too much in and you can mess with all that maybe I want to come in the mat cleanup and I want to choke myself uh oh I'm choking myself bad 
that's okay. I would suggest you don't do too much of that. You Maybe you go to 20. And if you're going to do that, make sure you match the soften with it. So it gives you a nice edge. Think in here, if you look, blow that up. Zwink. Yeah, see how, see how it's all choppy and everything else? Way too much. Let's go back down. Let's get out of there. And let's just go back to the default here. You can go the other way too, which is zero. Now, I wonder if I have any things up there. Okay, well, let's go back in Alter Key. Boop. And let's go into a relaxed. Nope. Let's go into the default. Close. Cool. The other thing I can do is I can go into here and I can reduce these. Let's say the pedestal on here should be 20. This one should be 20. Bink. And I'll make this one 20. Bink. Let's move this up one and maybe throw a background in. What do we got over here? Hey, here's one. We throw in our background. Okay, now we make this thing really big like this. We go zoom. Okay, maybe we want to go, oh my gosh. No, we probably don't want to do that. Put it up there. Maybe we mess with this. Oh, that's too high. That's too low. Maybe you put it right about there or something. And uh, that looks kind of fake. Although you can see, hey, it's working. It's cool. We don't have a lot of weird stuff going on. Maybe we come over to effects and we say, hey, let's uh, blur the background. Let's add a Gaussian blur to this background. Pink. Make it a little more not fakey. Maybe we set this to 15 or something. That's a little too much. Let's go with 10. Okay, and you can play with backgrounds and everything else, but you'll notice that it's pretty darn good key from a really, really crappy setup. The whole point of this video, again, is that you can stack these effects. You can stack them up and up and up. You can do this with audio. You can do this with keying. You can do this with any effect you want to and add multiple effects instead of trying to hammer yourself to death trying to get this ultra key correct again if you're doing green screen you need to set it up correctly but the whole point of this video is yes stack effects stack those audio effects add a little tweak and add some compression to it instead of messing with it forever add another one and keep adding another one until you do that you can add multiple effects multiple lumetri controls color correction and everything else go play with it let me know how it works out in the comments below. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.